In this video tutorial, we'll cover the Save Session functionality of GeoMap App. The Save Session capability allows an instance of GeoMap App to be captured and later reused. For example, it can be shared with colleagues or with students and saves them having to reload all of the layers. Saving a session will capture a snapshot of GeoMap App including all of the built-in loaded data sets and any data portals, any coloring that was done to grids, including shading and contouring, and for any loaded built-in tabular data sets, it will also capture any changes to the symbols, including coloring and scaling. The session file is a small ASCII file, and it can be shared easily with collaborators and students. When the session file is imported, GeoMapPet will automatically load all of the data sets that were saved and, and will apply any coloring and shading to the gridded and tabular data sets. That can be very useful, for example, when teaching, just share the save session file with students and when they import it, they'll all have GeoMapPet start at exactly the same place. Please note that the Safe Session capability operates only on built-in datasets. We don't allow imported datasets to be captured in a session because we have no control over the size of the files and the session file which would have to capture that imported file could quickly become unwieldy. In this example, we're going to load a variety of built-in datasets, then we'll save the session then we'll import the session file into a new instance of GeoMap App and show how we can recreate the original session. For this example, we're going to quickly load some datasets for the Cascadia region in North America. So let's move the window over here. We'll tear off the menu, bring it down here, make it a bit wider. And first off, we'll load a tomographic dataset so we go into geophysics tomography and we'll load the Gowan Shen uh, tomography for uh, a depth of four, 94 kilometers. This is a shear wave velocity. And there's the grid. Let's move that out of the way. So let's change the color palette and we'll choose the uh, Jet 2 invert. That's a popular tomographic color palette. We'll get rid of the artificial illumination. That looks okay so far. Okay. On top of that, we're going to load the depth to the top of the subducting slab, which is under the lithospheric plates menu, Cascadia, this is the McCrory et al. model. And there's the grid, and for this one we'll change it to a black and white palette, and let's again turn off the sun illumination. We'll alter the range of the black and white shading, like so. We'll add contours, let's say 10 kilometer contours, and we'll move that window out of the way. And now we can load, say, a geological map. So for that, we'll go up to Geology, Geological Maps, North America, United States, and go down and find Wisconsin, uh, Washington, and we'll load the lithology map. And this comes in as a web mapping service from the US Geological Survey. And in a second, it should load. There we go, there we have it. And let's actually zoom in on this area, like that. Then we can put in the uh, state boundaries. So we go to overlays, local administrative boundaries, United States, state boundaries. And here we see the black outlines of the state uh, boundaries. And then finally, we'll load some geochemical data. So we'll go in the menu up to uh, geochemistry, earthchem data, and we'll choose the Cascadia earthchem data. So it's reading the large earthchem Cascadia geochemical data set. We'll plot all the records. There they are. So at this point, we've got some grids loaded, a geological map, and some tabular data. Let's, uh, let's turn off the inset map. Okay. 
and let's change the uh, colors and the scaling on the tabular data. So we'll color, and we'll choose, say, Illumina, and let's change the palette for that. More palettes, and we'll use the Panoply palette. There we go. We'll change the range of the colors on that. And now we'll change the scaling of the symbols, and let's scale them, say, on the magnesia content, like so. We'll change the range there, like that. So we see small and big symbols, and there we have a stack. Oh, and whilst we're at it, let's just change the transparency on the grid that gives us the depth to the top of the subducting slab. So let's find the opacity slider bar and just change that. Let's say we'll put it there, semi-transparent. Okay, so here's an example of a fairly complicated GeoMapApp session. We have a couple of grids loaded. They're colored in various ways, and one of them is contoured and made semi-transparent. We have a geological map, and we have some tabular data that's been colored and scaled. So let's now save this as a session. So we go to File, Session Manager, Save Current Session. Navigation window appears, we hit Save. And let's just minimize this window. And here we have the small ASCII session file. So to show how the saved session file can be used, let's kill this instance of GeoMap app. And now we'll start a new instance of GeoMap app. So here's our new GeoMap app window with no datasets loaded. And we import the save session file by going to File, Session Manager, Import Save Session. There's the file. We hit Open. And GeoMap app now automatically zooms to the correct area. And start. So we see the various layers coming in. And hit Photo Records. Okay, so there we have the imported session. And we see that we've perfectly replicated the original session. We've got the different grids loaded, the transparency, the contouring, the colors of the grids. The geological map came in, the state boundaries can just be seen there, they're fairly hard to see, and the tabular data has been colored and scaled accordingly. And it exemplifies how a session file could be shared with collaborators or with students, allowing them to start GeoMap app at exactly the same state in which you'd saved it. It's also useful if you are using GeoMap app to generate figures and you need to come back to them later. You can just save the session and then later import the session file and carry on uh, with the figure generation. If you have any questions or comments about the save session functionality or anything else related to GeoMap app, please send a message to info at geomapapp.org. Thank you.